This is part 23 of the book, What You Should Know About Gum Disease, The Layman's Guide to Fighting Gum Disease. I would like to point out that these videos are, everything in these videos is stated in general terms only. If you have specific questions about your unique dental health situation, those questions should be directed towards your dentist or periodontist. We will continue here with our discussion about periodontal pocket depths. Pay special attention to your pocket depths. This will be an important gauge to measure your progress in the future. On an initial periodontal exam, all the gum tissue should be measured on both the lip side and the tongue side of your teeth. This record should be used as a baseline and will show your improvement over time, or lack thereof. As a side note, you want to make sure your hygienist always informs you of any pocket depth over 3 millimeters. By comparing the results to your baseline, you can keep your finger on the pulse of your gum health. Of course, this information can be used to see if the gum health has declined as well. If you develop additional pockets between visits, then you should consider refining your home care procedures. In fact, if you are not seeing a decrease in pockets altogether, then you probably need to fine-tune things at home. We will discuss home care tools and their uses in Chapter 3. If your hygienist does not automatically tell you what your pocket depths are, ask her to do so. Ask that she point out the exact areas that are greater than 3 millimeters. Do this on every visit. This will help you to identify your trouble spots, areas that you will want to pay special attention to during your home care. Insist on having these spots pointed out if necessary. This is crucial to understanding where you must do the most work in your home care. This ends part 23 of the book, What You Should Know About Gum Disease, The Layman's Guide to Fighting Gum Disease. You can find this book in its entirety at whatyoushouldknowaboutgumdisease.com, as well as products that I think are important at my own store, toothygrinsstore.com. In these videos, I speak in general terms only. If you have a question about your unique dental health situation, be sure to ask your dentist or periodontist the answer to those questions. This ends part 23 of What You Should Know About Gum Disease. Thank you for watching. Shen Yun is a high-quality show coming to a city near you. I highly recommend it. Look for it, see it, enjoy it. Shen Yun.